The national government today hosts a farewell luncheon for rugby league players in an unprecedented three separate international games that also includes a female team. They are the PNG Hunters in the grand final of the Interest Super Cup, the Prime Minister 13 against Australia, and in the women's rugby, the PNG Orchids against the Australian Gila Rose. Vice Sports Minister Wesley Raminai was among several ministers wishing the team farewell. It gives me great pleasure in hosting the team's luncheon in the state function room to kick off the festivities leading up to SP PNG under the historic occasion, the penalty made first ever grand final appearance of any PNG team in Australia. The QRL Inter Super Cup grand final in Brisbane on Sunday, 24th September. The Prime Minister's 13th challenge is inching towards a decade of rugby league challenge between two neighbours in PNG and Australia. And what a historic event in the history of women's rugby league between Australia and Papua New Guinea on Saturday, the 23rd of September, which also commemorates our 42nd independence anniversary. As PNG hunters have done this country proud, and I cannot help myself but to put out a very strong challenge to our boys. Bring the cup home, boys. So Papua New Guinea is definitely uh, with you all on behalf of the Prime Minister and, uh, and our government. We're going to continue investing in sports. You can see our record of achievement in terms of the wonderful investment we have started making in the sports infrastructure. My only desire is we continue to take that infrastructure down the level and down right to the village. I always say it's so important that the uh, boys and girls in the village can look to you people like Eddie was talking about and they can aspire to be a kumun. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Pod Mosby.